Good morning Philippines, I'm Mike Padawa here and we are back to our analysis on the southwest monsoon as well as Typhoon Fabian which is uh, already outside the Philippine area of responsibility. So this is brought to you by Typhoon 2000 and uh, here is the latest graph set which we issued uh, last night and this is valid until uh, today Saturday we still have the uh, uh, southwest monsoon being enhanced by uh, the departing uh, typhoon Infa with local name Fabian which has weakened dramatically from 160, 150 and it's uh, only around 130 kilometers per hour because of its uh, upwelling of the uh, sea surface uh, as you know, if the tropical cyclone has been standing by over the same area for uh, many days, the uh, uh, sea surface temperature below will start to cool. That's the reason why the intensity of uh, Fabian has weakened uh, for the past 24 hours. But it started to move now towards the northwest and expect to slightly re-intensify as it moves across the East China Sea. And as the system moves towards uh, eastern uh, uh, China, particularly over eastern Zhejiang province, uh, just to the south of Shanghai, expect that the southwest monsoon will start to slowly weaken and the uh, rainfall across western Luzon, including Metro Manila, Mindoro, will start to wane down a little bit. But there will be still some uh, on and off rainfall but the intensity will be much lesser compared uh, today, yesterday, and the other day, uh, Thursday. So uh, that's the uh, situation right now. Rainfall uh, uh, situation in Metro Manila is still uh, around uh, 100 millimeters, 24-hour rainfall accumulation for the past uh, 24 hours has reached more than 100 millimeters. And there's this one station in uh, Quezon City Hall. Uh, the rainfall has stopped up more than 130 to 140 millimeters in 24 hours with on and off continuous to uh, light uh, rainfall brought about by the continuous light to moderate to at times heavy or intense rainfall brought about by this uh, series of thunderstorms generated by the southwest monsoon. So, uh, still, uh, expect some occasional monsoon rains to prevail throughout Saturday, but on Sunday, there will be a, a weakening of the monsoon rains across the western sections of Luzon. Uh, other portions affected by the, uh, uh southwest monsoon, particularly over Visayas, Palawan, uh, Mindoro, uh, will still uh, bring some, the monsoon will still bring some rain showers and thunderstorms across these areas, becoming uh, widespread over occidental Mindoro and western uh, Visayas, but all throughout the Visayas and Bicol region will uh, remain cloudy with passing uh, drizzles and uh, just a few seconds of downpour and that's it, okay, except those areas near the slopes of uh, mountains where heavy downpour can still be expected in the mountainous areas of the Bicol region. And uh, elsewhere across Mindanao, good weather will uh, prevail except for some isolated rain showers and thunderstorms in the afternoon or evening. So uh, aside from Fabian, we have uh, the remnants of tropical depression uh, Sempaka, which is now um, has moved over to the uh, Gulf of Tonkin or moved back to towards the uh, Valley of Water but due to high upper level winds uh, all we know also known as uh, wind shear or vertical wind shear the uh, system will no longer survive and it's only a remnant low pressure as of this time uh, over the Gulf of Tonkin and embedded within the active monsoon trough and to the east of these two systems, we have a newly formed uh, subtropical uh, cyclone which became a tropical cyclone and it's now known as Tropical Storm Nepartak 
with uh, sustained winds of 65 gusting to 85 kph and it's expected to accelerate towards the north then northwest and it will track in the general direction of uh, uh, eastern or southern Japan. So, uh, Fox here, over the island, the country of Japan, must take on uh, some precaution for the passage of this uh, uh, quick moving or fast moving tropical storm in the power attack. Okay, so that's the latest from GraphSat. And if we look at the latest CIMSS, Tropical Cyclone Fast Animation, you can clearly see here the uh, tropical uh, cyclone or typhoon Fabian Infa started started its slow northwest track after remaining stationary uh, near Miyokojima and Ishikakejima, and right now it has moved out of the Philippine area of responsibility as it moves northwest at speed of uh, seven to nine kph. And that's the reason why uh, the, the southwest monsoon continues to prevail across the western sections of Luzon and Visayas as well as Mimaropa because of the uh, almost stationary and slow motion of this typhoon. So uh, until the typhoon leave, leaves this area and move over eastern uh, uh, China the effects of the monsoon will continue and yet another system is forming here in the Pratak and is expected to move towards that direction and the southwest monsoon will still continue across the Philippine Islands but with a lesser degree of rainfall particularly along the western sections of the country uh, just like I said uh, much improved uh, weather will be expected next week across western Luzon but still uh, when we say you much <coughs> so expect still occasional on and off rainfall to prevail across the western sections of Luzon and the Visayas okay now let's take a look at the zoom in satellite night vision animation this is from windy.com and for the past uh, six hours beginning at uh, 7 p.m. up to now 1 a.m. already Saturday we could still see the southwest monsoonal flow with lots of thunderstorms uh, affecting the western sections of Luzon and uh, including central Luzon, Metro Manila, uh, Mindoro and uh, Calabar Zone so this kind of weather situation will uh, persist throughout Saturday and it might still uh, push to until uh, Sunday and here's the uh, typhoon uh, the big eye the large eye around 120 kilometers in diameter across in diameter and uh, it's now moving away from Miyakojima and if we look at our track as of uh, 8 uh, as of 5 p.m. yesterday so uh, this is now the uh, forecast track of the typhoon and right now the storm is here okay as we speak and for the next uh, uh, 24 to 48 hours it will traverse the East China Sea and finally it may make landfall over the uh, eastern coastal areas of uh, Sejiang province in the afternoon of Sunday July 25th so tomorrow afternoon uh, Sunday it will make landfall just south of Ningbo city and it will rapidly weaken into a tropical storm and then on Tuesday it will be just a remnant area of low pressure okay so uh, as you can see it's a very uh, large system uh, as, as as it moves towards uh, eastern china so here comes the uh, asian agency multi tracks all of them agree with a track towards the south of shanghai or Zhejiang province within the next 48 hours and uh, here's the newly formed the partak uh, this is good news for the Philippines. It's not expected to enter par, and it's really outside of the Philippine air responsibility. And attention for the people here in northern uh, 
Japan for part for possible passage of this tropical storm Nippur attack. And here comes the uh, rainfall accumulation forecast for the next three days until Monday. As you can see, the western sections of Luzon, including Metro Manila, Calabar's for uh, western sections of Calabar Zone, Mindoro, Western Visayas will still be under the influence of the monsoonal flow or habagat and could bring uh, lots of thunderstorm through the coming weekend through Sunday. But like I said, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, uh, the uh, on enough rainfall will lessen in uh, duration across the western sections of the country because of the uh, landfalling Typhoon Fabian, which may happen this coming uh, uh, Sunday. Okay, so once it makes landfall, uh, the effects of the pooling of the Habagat or the Southwest Monsoon will eventually decrease. Okay, so let's all pray that we are all safe from this uh, uh, effects of this monsoon. So residents on uh, along the river banks of the Metro Manila area, Central Luzon, Western Luzon, the Locos region, Mindoro, Western Visayas, uh, Western sections of Calabar Zone must take all necessary precautions for possible flash floods, landslides during the event of very strong thunderstorms generated by uh, the southwest monsoon. And here comes the forecast for uh, today Saturday until Monday as you can see uh, focus our attention here to the western sections of Luzon uh, this afternoon the effects of the monsoon will continue in the same areas but uh, sometimes it will be over the uh, western sections of southern Luzon then in the evening along the western sections of Ilocos region so it oscillates but uh, the good news on Sunday, the uh, rainfall forecast is no longer much, okay, or more, it lessened a bit. But still there are some showers on uh, Sunday, and on Monday, uh, still some thunderstorms will be expected in the afternoon, okay, but with a much lesser uh, intense uh, with, with a much lesser coverage because of Typhoon Fabian already dissipating operation Fabians come Monday so some Im much improved weather will be expected uh, maybe on Sunday or uh, on Monday and if we move towards Tuesday still there will be some effects of the southwest monsoon but it's no longer strong compared uh, to what happened two days ago until now so please take all their sub precautions against this uh, heavy rainfall which could cause some um, overflowing of the river systems and uh, flash floods as well as landslides okay and those people living on the coastal areas of western Luzon please take all their sub precautions for possible large waves from the sea or some uh, monsoonal surge which could uh, bring some coastal flooding along the western sections of the country although the winds is only uh, topping around 60 to 65 kph based on uh, the highest uh, computer model ECMWF those are the forecast of the wind across the western sections of Luzon and Visayas okay so there you go that's the latest for this uh, Saturday through Monday and we will be returning again next week, Saturday, uh, Monday, to give you more update on our weather here in the Philippine Islands. From Typhoon 2000, this is Mike Padua reporting. Stay safe always. Be hashtag weatherwiser. Happy weekend to all. Uh, and, uh, take care. And uh, thank you so much for watching our channel. Oh, by the way, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel as well as click on the notification bell for the latest update on our video. Thank you once again and have a great weekend.